Hi, I'm Dave Baring, Technical Director at TriStar, and welcome to another Ask the Expert segment. Um, we have a question today that came in from uh, one of our conveyor manufacturing customers, and uh, this particular customer has been using for many, many years uh, two bolt and four bolt um, flange mount and pillow block bearings uh, with rolling elements in it. And they have an application where they're interested in replacing those rolling elements with a self lubricating composite or some other form of polymer. Uh, this is something that TriStar has been doing for quite a number of years and uh, we have uh, replacement inserts uh, that cover all of the standard sizes, uh, both shaft sizes and also housing sizes. And uh, some of the things that, that we will ask uh, if you're interested in this type of a product is um, all of the standard questions that we ask you for any plane bearing. Uh, with the composite uh, spherical inserts, if there's a downside to them, it's really speed restrictions. Um, but if, there, if the applications are for some extreme conditions, whether they be uh, abrasive environments or uh, um, extremely high loads, something to that effect, and they're, they're able to be within the uh, speed uh, capabilities of the material, then Things like our Ultra Comp UC300, uh, UC200 are possibilities there. But beyond that, we also have other materials. And so it really depends on the environment that we're working in, uh, what you need in terms of service uh, capabilities. We have uh, one material that's very effective at high temperatures. So for conveyors uh, coming in and out of ovens, for instance, um, we have some of these materials in uh, glass tempering ovens. Uh, we have some materials in baking ovens, uh, tortillas, uh, tortillerias, things like that where um, you know, you've got a self-lubricating material so there's no concern about grease, uh, there's no concern about uh, with carbon bearings that you see in some of these oven applications, there's no concern about debris generation from the carbon. Um, and then there are some simpler materials that we use for more routine applications, you know, where speeds are under 50 feet per minute, the loads are, you know, low to medium, um, and it's really just a matter of trying to eliminate the need for lubrication. Um, unfortunately, there isn't one material yet that, that answers all the questions. We're still working on that. Um, it's kind of one of our, our, our goals as a company is to develop some new materials that that can meet uh, both temperature, load, and speed requirements for spherical drop-in replacements on rolling elements um, that don't require lubrication and uh, can give us the life expectancy that we would hope for. Um, so stay tuned. We might have something to announce uh, in the not too distant future. But in the short term, if you have an application where you want to get rid of a rolling element and the grease that goes along with it um, and want to consider a polymer, just give us a call. or write us through Ask the Expert and give us your parameters, speeds, loads, temperatures, uh, shaft conditions, what's the environment, all of the standard plane bearing questions. And uh, let's see if we can help you out with uh, a solution there. Uh, thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you on another Ask the Expert.